Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Happy Women's History Month, Jags. Welcome to another edition of Jag TV. I'm Shane. And I'm Gabby. If you have any questions or information you would like aired, email nwjagtv at gmail.com. And make sure to follow us on Instagram at nwjagtv. In addition to Women's History Month, today is the Festival of Purim. It commemorates the divinely orchestrated salvation of the Jewish people in the ancient Persian Empire. From Haman's plot to, de -kill, to destroy, kill, and annihilate all the Jews, young and old, infants and women in a single day. It is celebrated with Megillah readings, gifts of food, charity, feasting, and merriment. When people of Jewish faith meet, to meet each other on the joyous holiday of Purim, they greet each other with the wishes of Happy Purim. It is the jolliest day of Jewish calendar year. Thanks, I did not know that. Now in honors of Women's History Month, each day we will have a fact to commemorate the month. Did you know that approximately 16% of active members in the U.S. Armed Forces today are women? In 1950, women comprised less than 2% of the U.S. military. Today, women play an active role in serving their country through military service, but many years in, past, in the past would simply disguise themselves as men in order to gain access to the battlefield, including well-known examples like Francis Clayton in the American Civil War. It is an accepted convention that the Civil War was a man's fight. Images of women during the conflict center on self-sacrificing nurses, romantic spies, or brave ladies maintaining the home front in absence of their men. This conventional picture of gender roles during the Civil War does not tell the entire story. Men were not the only ones to fight the war. Women bore arms and charged into battle too. Like the men, there were women who lived in camp, suffered in prisons, and died for their respective causes. Both the Union and Confederate armies forbade the enlistment of women. Women soldiers of the Civil War therefore, therefore assumed masculine names, disguised themselves as men, and hid the fact that they were female. Because they passed as men, it is impossible to know with any certainty how many women soldiers served in the Civil War. Estimates place as many as 250 women in the ranks of the Confederate Army. And that was our moment in Women's History Month. Now for a few announcements. Congratulations to our two state champion wrestlers, Samir Brown and Ivan Carrillo. They had an outstanding season. Show them some love, Northwest, when you see them. Students who are interested in taking their learner's permit, you have an opportunity to take the learner's permit test at Northwest on the afternoon today and Tuesday, April 18th. The test will begin promptly at 2.30 at room 100. You should stop by the main office to pick up a permission slip. Come celebrate Pi Day on March 14th. What is Pi Day? Pi Day is an annual celebration of the math math mathematical constant Pi. Pi Day is observed on March 14th, since 3, 1, and 4 are the first three significant figures of Pi. It was founded in 1988 by Larry Shaw, an employee of the San Francisco, California Science Museum, the Expletorium. Oh, okay. Northwest activities will be taking place during lunch. Check with your math teacher for details. Next year, Northwest will pilot the new AP African American Studies course. We are only one of three MCPS schools that will offer the course. If you'd like to attend a brief information session about the course, or sign up to take the course directed, any questions to our social studies resource teacher, Mr. Gordon, Jonathan underscore M. Gordon at mcpsmd.org, or AP coordinator, Ms. Mason, Amy underscore M. Ma underscore Mason at mcpsmd.org. And with that, we will complete our show for today. I've been Gabby. And I've been Shanae. See you next time.